January the 24th, 2021. Unit 2, Jesus and Calls in His Ministry. The subject is today, Standing in the Gap. Amen. Standing in the Gap. Amen. Good morning. Good morning to the class today. I say we thank God for aiding, aiding us to come before you again. Amen. Our lesson today is the lesson 11, date May 16, 2021. Uh, unit 3, the Courageous Prophets of Change. And our subject for today, the consequences of giving challenging advice. Amen. The consequences of of giving challenging advice. Amen. And this is a very good lesson. We had a good lesson last week, and this is another good lesson. Amen. As we know, uh, we're dealing with uh, Jeremiah, the prophet. Amen. And he prophesied during a dark period in Judah's history. Uh, Jeremiah was both priest and prophet who received his call and commission from God during his youth. He was a, he was a young man. His long-standing ministry spanned the, the reigns of the last five kings of Judah, extending into uh, the kings of Babylon, Babylonian captivity. Amen. So he prophesied for a long, long time. Amen. This is a very, very good lesson. And amen. Uh, um, Jeremiah, amen. Uh, when, when you tell the truth, amen, you get... You put yourself in in, 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 in in danger. Amen. So he had to really, really, amen. He had to really go through some trials and tribulations. And a lot of times uh we think this this walk is gonna be just oh super easy. Oh man, nothing's gonna happen. But when you are really truthful and you really follow Christ, uh uh the world will hate you, and then there's people in church will hate you amen i mean literally hate you because you tell the truth a lot of times we uh 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 we we mess their uh, uh life up amen they're the life that they want to live we 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 uh uh cause them to have to think about how they live amen when you tell the truth amen so he was dealing with King Zedekiah, and Zedekiah did not care very much for Jeremiah because Jeremiah prophesied to him things that he didn't really want to hear. Amen. Have you ever uh, uh, talked to someone and went to them and talked to them and said, uh, uh, and they and someone came to you and talked to you about a situation that they're involved in, and then you give them the advice. Uh, and tell you tell them what they need to do and, and, and the things how to fix the problem how to how to get straightened out amen and then they end up angry with you because or either they'll walk away and then they'll go find someone else that's going to tell them something that they really want to hear amen and they get a lot of times folks will get mad they get angry with you if you tell them the truth amen so this is what happened with uh, 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 Jeremiah and Zedekiah the king, amen. He wanted to hear something from Jeremiah, but amen. He had, Jeremiah had already told him that the, that the, uh, the, that Israel was going to, uh, and, and um, uh, uh, Judah was going to go into captivity, amen. He, he told him that they were going to go into captivity, but he, that's not what he wanted to hear. He wanted to hear. And tell me that things are going to be the same. In the same way, it reminds me of right now how we deal with this pandemic. Everybody wants things to stay the same. They want to be as if nothing has happened. But amen, we got to think. I want you to think about this. Some people say, well, it's just like catching the flu. But does, let me ask you this question. Does uh, 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 700,000 people die from the flu a year? Amen. 700,000 people died from the flu a year. Amen. So it's not like the flu. Amen. Uh, so therefore, that's over what uh, uh, what we have normally every year that died. You got 700,000 more people died. Amen. So 
we see that this, you know, and, and we see that in, even in our country, um, the Lord says he will send out a spirit of delusion that a man will believe a lie. And we see that right now, uh, people are believing lies. They, they believe you can lie and they'll believe it. And you tell them the truth, then they won't believe it. Amen. That's a spirit that has been sent out by God. And believe me, I'm going to tell you something. And you bear this with me. God sent this sent this uh, plague upon the earth. Amen. To get our attention. Not only just the people in the world, but the people in the church also. Because before the pandemic, people were not doing what they were supposed to do. And, you know, we were crying out again. Oh, oh, we want to be back at church. We want to go back to church. But then think about, I want you to really think about this. How many Sundays, how many Sundays before the pandemic, uh, the church would be crowded one, one Sunday, then the next Sunday it'd be, you know, sparse. I mean, uh, 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 yeah, it'll be sparse the next Sunday. Amen. You have people, a lot of people one week, and then a few people the next week, and then it might go two weeks without a lot of people. It might go two weeks with a lot of people. Amen. So people were not not dedicating themselves to the Lord. Amen. And we wanted to get our kids back back in school. Oh, let's get the kids back in school. They need to be back in school. Amen. But how many were bringing their kids to Sunday school? How many were bringing them to Sunday school and say, well, I need to get them back to Sunday school. I need to get them to Sunday school. Amen. How many was bringing their kids to Sunday school? Amen. We want them to have a higher education, but let me tell you something about education. I'm a carpenter. Amen. I build houses. I was trained as a carpenter. I was a union carpenter. Amen. So I, I uh, they trained me how to build houses, but see that that's not gonna that's not gonna help me uh, it, uh, in judgment when we when I go before the Lord, the Lord is not gonna ask me how many houses you built, how good a carpenter you were. I could be the most skillful person in the world, skillful in whatever I do. You might be the most educated, you might know how to do computers to the max, you might know how to do all these different things, and you might be a professional baseball player, but God ain't gonna ask, God is not gonna ask you how many home runs you hit. How many baskets you shot? How many? How, what was your? You were the highest scoring uh, basketball player, player ever. God gonna ask you: Did you do my will? Did you keep my commandments? Amen. So did you love everyone? Amen. That's what's gonna count. So all this other stuff, Amen. It's all is vanity and vexation of spirit. Says the preacher. All is vanity and vexation of the spirit. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Amen. So, um, amen. We find, we, we look at in our lesson. Amen. Um, uh, Jer um, I mean, um, Jeremiah had been put in a dungeon. Amen. Which the dungeon was a place where it was mud. And they just, it was just really like a big hole and they just threw him in and it, it was hit mire, which is mud in the bottom of it. So they threw him into a a, a a hole, big hole, and they put him down in there, and they put him down in there to die because he prophesied and told King Zedekiah, amen, and all those around that they were going to go into captivity. Amen. And 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 and, and uh, uh Jeremiah told him, say, listen, all you got to do is surrender to the Babylonians. Amen. To the Assyrians, just surrender to them. And, every, and Lord, uh, uh, go into captivity, take your punishment, and everything will be well with you. But pride came into uh, uh, Zedekiah's heart. He came into Zedekiah's heart, and, and you, know, you know how we do, we're tough, you know. I, you know, I... I don't. I don't really want to. You know, I ain't worried about that. I'm, I'm not worried about that. You know, I'm. 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 I'm the. I'm the king of, of Judah. You know. You know. I'm. Sometimes we, even when we do it wrong, we feel that the Lord is still with us, and we can just still do wrong and still have that same power that we had uh, uh, before. Amen. But the Lord is telling us, "Listen, y'all sinning. Y'all doing wrong. So therefore, y'all, you." All are going into captivity. But what I want you to do, I want you to surrender 
give up and surrender, and then you'll, you'll, you'll be okay. You'll go into captivity, but you'll stay alive. You'll live. Amen. But if you don't go into captivity, you're going to die. Amen. And that's what what uh, Jeremiah told me. Say if you if if you if you do, if if you fight it, this is the work of the Lord. And this pandemic is the work of the, work of the Lord. Uh, if you fight it, you're going to die. And many people, many people, even in church, they say, "Oh, they, they say, you know, I'm a Lord going to take care of me. You know, I can just go out and do listen." This is from the Lord. When something is from the Lord, we don't need to get out there and try to block it. Sometimes we try to block everything that come upon the earth. We try to block, we try to pray it away. Amen. This is from the Lord. We cannot pray everything away. Sometimes this world needed to be whooped. Think about how, what's all what all was going on before this uh, pandemic came. Amen. Look at how the people were acting. Look, it's more murders. They said uh, last time I checked, it was twenty more murders this year than it was last year, and last year was a bad year. It was a bad year. Look at all the the destruction and all the things that people are doing to one another. How they driving on the highway? Just people are just going, just seem like they just losing their minds. Amen. So he wanted to be tough. Now we should not tempt God. What? We should not tempt God. Why shouldn't we tempt God? Let's go to Luke four. Jesus was tempted. A lot of times we think, oh, you know, Jesus was the son of God. Jesus was the son of God. And even he, a man, didn't use his power, you know, be arrogant about the power that he had and, and the power that God had given him. Amen. We are flesh. Believe me, we're flesh. And we will, we will fall. We will uh, things can happen to us, amen, because we're in the in the body. We're in the flesh, amen. Now, let's see. Let's look at what Jesus did when he's tempted. This is this what, what people do, amen. Now, let's go to Luke 4 and 2. Being 40 days tempted of the devil, and in those days he did eat nothing, and when they were ended, he afterward hungered. Now, listen. Here you go. He's hungry. And the devil said unto him, If thou be the Son of God, look, look what he said. If thou be the Son of God, now he wanted Jesus to show, show up, show off. Amen. And a lot of times, if you're a Christian, you can, you can, you should be able to do this, and you should be able to listen. We're in the flesh. We're in the flesh. Now, if it's, if God is working, and I don't care. If you're a Christian or not, God's work is going to be done. If you look at look at this with 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 Zedekiah, God said you're going into captivity, whether you you do it the right way or not. Amen. This pandemic came no matter whether you're a Christian or not. People in church died. People, pastors died. Deacons died. Mothers died. It's all different people died. And a lot of times. We think, oh man, I, I'm, I'm, you know, I'm tough, I'm tough. But look, this is the Son of God. This is Jesus. Look, Jesus, and even though the devil was tempting him, trying to get him to do something, if he would have did that and, and and did that, none of us would have been saved. A lot of times, how can you help anybody in your day, <laughs> Amen. How can you help anyone in the grave, Amen. So what Jeremiah was telling me, listen, Jeremiah didn't want to die. Amen. He didn't want to die. So he 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 said, okay, guess what? I'm I'm going into captivity just, just like you are. Amen. Even though he was a prophet, even though he was doing the will of God, he still had to go into captivity. That did not exempt him from going into captivity. A lot of times we think because we're Christian, we're not supposed to go through anything. Look, we it rains on the just and the unjust. Praise God. Amen. Now let's let me finish this. The son of God, command these stones that it be made bread. Now, what did Jesus have to prove to the devil? What did he have to prove to the devil? Nothing. Amen. He didn't have anything to prove to the devil. Amen. Now, let's skip down. Um, let's skip down um, to uh, the ninth verse. Uh, fourth chapter of Luke in the ninth verse. And he brought him to Jerusalem and set him 
on that peninsula of the temple and said unto him, If thou be the Son of God, if you be a Christian, come on, y'all, cast thyself down from him. Now, you'll be a, a foolish person to go up on a high place, a mountain, a hill, or whatever, and you jump off and you say, Well, the Lord is going to take care of me, and I'm gonna, I know he'll, he'll, he's not going to allow me to die from this. Jump off of there and see what happened to you. Amen. He did not give us wings to fly. He gave us two feet to walk. Amen. So therefore, what what what, what was the devil to, trying to do? He was trying to take him out before time. If Jesus would listen to the Satan tried to became powerful, just as Zedekiah did, guess what? Jesus would have died. Jesus would have died. And then what? If Jesus would have died, what would have happened to us? We would have had no salvation. There would have been no salvation if Jesus would have listened to the devil. Amen. And we right now, a lot of time, we don't, we God didn't ask us to be tough. He tells us to be bold Christian, but for righteousness, for doing right, do what God wants us to do. Amen. Let's see. And he said, for it's written, he shall give his angels charge over thee to keep thee. And then he quote the scripture. There the devil quote the scripture. Listen, you tell me that. The devil quote the scripture. And in their hands they shall bear thee up, lest at any time thou dash thy foot against the stone. Quote the scripture. Amen. And Jesus answered and said to him, it is said, he quoted the scripture right back to him, thou shalt not tempt the Lord thy God. And why, should, why are we tempting the Lord? Why do we think we're better than Jesus? Jesus had a had a had a um, had a, 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 a goal, and he was he was going to do his father's business. He came to do what God said do. Now, if he would have jumped and and and, and 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 his life was lost, then guess what? We would have been lost. Amen. So we have to look at these situations. Look at what's going on. Look at the situation. Let me let me get let me go to the lesson. Amen. The 14th verse says in Jeremiah 30 and 14, says, Then Zedekiah the king sent and took Jeremiah the prophet unto him into the third entry that is in the house of the Lord. And the king said to Jeremiah, I will ask thee a thing. Hide nothing from me. And that's what people will say. Tell me, uh, look. Don't worry about it. Just tell me the truth. I want to hear the truth. That's what they said first. Amen. Then Jeremiah said unto Zedekiah, If I declare unto thee, will thou surely put me to death? Listen to that. Jeremiah did, want, did not want to die. Hello, somebody. Amen. That's not, not, that's not normal. Amen. It's things to die for, but sometimes we, we want to die for the things that we, amen, we shouldn't want to die for. Amen. And if I give thee counsel, will thou not hearken unto me? He said, are you going to listen? Even if I tell you the truth, are you going to listen to me? Hello, somebody. And that's where a lot of people are. They, they want you to tell them. You talk to them over and over. You tell them the same thing over and over. This is what you need to do to get straightened out. This is how you need to straighten out your, your life so the Lord can deal with you. And you tell them, and then they go back, and they it's like, they, that's not the advice they want to hear. Amen. They find prophets and they find people. They find preachers that will say what they want to hear so they can feel better about themselves. Oh, I can still be like, be what, be, be who I am, which is self-righteous. You can be self-righteous and still uh, make it into the kingdom of God. No. Amen. So Zedekiah the king swore secretly unto Jeremiah saying, as the Lord living that made us this soul, I will not put thee to death, neither will I give thee into the hand of these men that seek thy life. So he had to promise, he had to promise Jeremiah that he would not take his life, neither uh, give him to uh, the other people that wanted to take his life. Amen? So he did it secretly. And a lot of times we want to <laughs> we want to hide and we want to get advice and we want people to know that we're really in trouble. Amen. Sometimes we want to go to people and make sure don't tell nobody. Make sure you don't tell nobody. But this is what's going on with me. Amen. And people want to keep a, a, a lot of things secret. Amen. But listen to this: the seventeenth verse. Even though he wanted to hide it from from his buddies, so his buddies wouldn't know he was talking to Jeremiah. 
but it still wasn't going to change the situation. God still was going to uh, send them into captivity. Amen. It didn't matter. Amen. Because they had done so much evil, God was not going to let up. Amen. 17 verse 8. Then said Jeremiah unto Zedekiah, Thus said the Lord, the God of hosts, the God of Israel, If thou wilt surely go forth unto the king of Babylon, princes, then thy soul shall live. Listen what he's telling. He said, you'll live. You will live. All you have to do is surrender. Amen. And a lot of times we tell the people, uh, just wear a mask and, 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 and cover your face and, and you will live. <laughs> Amen. Yeah, this was a guarantee. Masks are not even guaranteed. Amen. But this was a guarantee. He said, listen. If you do what I say and surrender, and a lot of times, oh, I surrender to the to the to, to the to the world, to surrender to a heathen uh, king, uh, the Syrians, the Babylonians. But listen, listen, look at what the what Israel and Judah were doing. They were sinning to the max. They were not following God. They were following the idol gods. They were doing all kind of different stuff. And then you're going to say, oh, I, I don't think I should go to them. I don't think they should. I should be in their hands. Amen. Now, listen. Uh, but God said, listen, you, your enemy is going to whoop you. Amen. Praise God. Your enemy is going to punish you. Amen. He said, and this city shall not be burned with fire. Listen. Listen to this. And thou shalt live in thine house. And you've seen people that defy, say, well, I don't think wearing a mask is important. I, me and my family, we're going to get together anyway. There was a family here, 28 in their family. They got together and they all got COVID-19. Every one of them. And some of them died. Amen. Listen what it says here. Look, that wouldn't have happened if they would have did what they were supposed to do. And people are very defined. The reason these things are coming on the earth is because of sin. Look around you. Folks, will you look look around you and see what's going on? Look at all the chaos and the confusion. We got wars. Another war that started up with Israel. Amen. They're fighting over there. Amen. So, so, <clears throat> so look at this. Look at what's happening. See how... It, is it good what the world is doing? Amen. It's not. It's it's wicked. And it's becoming more and more wicked. In the last days, the Lord said, man shall wax worse and worse. Now, the 18th verse said, but if thou wilt not go forth to the king of Babylon, prince, prince, princes, then shall the city what be given into the hand of the Chaldees, and they shall burn it with fire, and thou shalt not escape out of their hand. Ain't that something? You're going to die. Period. Amen. So, there are things we can pray that God deliver us from, but there are things that God can bring upon the earth that we cannot stop. Amen. God's word is going to be fulfilled. He said these things are going to be pestilent, earthquakes and divers, praise wars and rumors of war. Uh, uh, children is going to rise up against their parents. Amen. Uh, the love of many is going to wax cold. These things are going to happen. You can't stop it. But what we can do is try. We're like rescuers. We're trying to get those that will hear us. Guess what? We're trying to get them saved. Amen. Get them to come to Christ. We're trying to get people to come. Rescue people before the end come. Amen. 19 verse 6. And Zedekiah the king said unto Jeremiah, I am afraid of the Jews that are falling to the Chaldeans. These days deliver me into their hand and they mock me. He's worried about what he's going to look like. And that's what they did with the man. Oh, oh boy, this thing don't make me look good. I don't want to put this thing on. It don't look, it don't look, look right. And like, amen, praise God. We, sometimes we worry about image more than uh, uh, the worldly image than the, uh, being the, uh, 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 the image of God, showing forth the image of, of Christ. Amen. That Christ lives in us. Amen. We're ashamed. Amen. Um, but Jeremiah said, they shall not deliver thee. Obey, I beseech thee, the voice of the Lord, which I speak unto thee. So it shall be well with thee, and thy soul shall live. Ain't that something? You can tell people, people that are out of the way, you can tell them, listen, give up what you're doing. Listen, the world is coming to an end. These things are coming to pass. Look at what's happening. It's going to come to pass. 
All you have to do is surrender. We should be ready to surrender our lives to the Lord. If you surrender to the Lord, then you'll be saved. Hello, somebody. You will be saved. But you, we got to stop that pride. Amen. Uh, uh, amen. Three things that affect everybody is the lust of the fl flesh, the lust of the eyes, and the pride of life. Those are things that affect uh, our, us in our, in our daily living. If we don't have Christ in our lives, these things will, will manifest themselves in us. Amen. So if you want to live, you need to hear the word of God. We need to follow the rules. We need to follow God's rule. Amen. We have to keep God's commandments. But if thou refuse to go forth, this is the word that the Lord has showed me. And behold, all the women that are left in the king's king of Judah's house shall be what? Brought forth to the king of Babylon's princes. And those women shall say, thy friends have set, set thee on and have prevailed against thee. Thy feet are sunk in the mire, and thy and they are turned away back. And that means what he's saying that my your friends gonna betray you, amen. The ones that you uh, 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 are trying to, to protect, amen. They gonna betray betray you. Look in the news and see how people are turning on one another uh, in, in in politics. How uh, some were buddy buddies. Now they squilling all the beans, amen. So if you don't surrender to the Lord, this, these are the things that happen. Amen. You'll be deceived, be deceiving, and being deceived. People around you won't really be your friend. They just act like your friend while things are good. But then when trouble comes, these jokes are going to betray you. Amen. Same way in the church. Say many in the church are going to betray one another. Many people or many family members are going to betray, betray one another. Amen. So these are things going to come past. So the 23rd verse says, So they shall bring out all thy wives and thy children to the child end, and thou shalt not escape out of their hand, but shall be taken by the hand of the king of Babylon, and thou shalt cause the city to what? Be burned with fire. Just because you want to save face. Hello, somebody. When we, listen, when you tell the truth, when you tell the Tell the truth, you're putting your life in great, great, great danger. Amen. There's a young king named Josiah in the uh, in the Bible, uh, in the Old Testament. Tell about Josiah. Josiah was a good king. He did what the Lord asked him to do, but he made one error. And what his error was, the king of Egypt, God had sent the king of Egypt down to fight. Amen. He sent the king of Egypt. Egypt down to fight, but Josiah decided he's going to go and fight against the king of Egypt. Amen. And the king of Egypt told him, he said, now listen, God sent me to do this. Your God sent me to do this. But Josiah wouldn't listen to him. And many times, that's the way that people would not listen. They would not hear what God is saying. And now this was an evil, Egypt wasn't a, 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 a godly uh, nation. But God was sending an a ungodly nation to punish, punish uh, uh, the people of God. Amen? So, therefore, you're going to jump in there and you're going to try to stop it. But this is what happened to Josiah. Josiah lost his life. Amen. He lost his life because he did something he wasn't supposed to do. Hello, somebody. Amen. Let me show you on the other hand. You had John the Baptist. John the Baptist uh, preached the gospel, and Herod had married Her Herodias, and that was his brother's wife. So John the Baptist told him, it's unlawful for you to have your brother's wife. When you tell a person, oh my goodness, and he told him, and, and the wife was angry. She was mad. She, she wanted to get vengeance. She wanted, she wanted to get rid of him. So what happened was his daughter was dancing before him, for Herod, and it pleased Herod. He, you know how it is when you get 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 enough of that stuff in you, you start to say anything. Amen. So he was among his friends and buddies. So you know he got up and said, "Look, you did you dance so well. I give you anything you want to the half of the kingdom." Amen. And then the daughter went back and told the mother, "No, daddy said I can get anything I want." 
it, it, up to you know to half of the king. And the mother mother uh had so much hate in her heart, she said, I tell you what, tell him to give you John the Baptist's head on the charger, on the prat. Amen. Ain't that evil? That is evil. And when you tell a person the truth, amen, that's 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 the consequence a lot of times that people will hate you to the max, to the point that they want to take your life. Amen. And guess what? John the Baptist ended up losing his life for a righteous cause. <laughs> Amen. Praise God. Amen. He ended up losing his life. Amen. But that's the way it is. People will hate you. Amen. So leaders, leaders, we have to listen. Church, we have to listen. We got to we got to start looking at what God is doing. A lot of times we blame, we say, oh, some people are saying it's, a, it's science or they made this plague. Or, listen, whatever, wherever it came from, God allowed it to happen. And listen, when you see something affect the whole world like that, amen, you know it's God. Amen. God wants to get the attention of the people because, listen, before this thing came, people were not worshiping God in spirit and in truth. Amen. They were just coming, just showing up, and just, then you go right back to the same thing. God, he desired people that will worship him in spirit and truth. That means he, we have a spiritual relationship, our connection, there's nothing in between us. Amen. We let nothing separate us from the love of God. So therefore, our connection is, oh, directly, hallelujah, is directly connected with the Lord. Amen. And this is the God that love. Love without condition and we'll live a truthful life. We'll life. We don't have to uh, a lie or a live a, a false life or pretend or hide as Zedekiah did. He won't have to hide. Amen. We should have nothing to hide. Nothing. When when the Lord saved us, he forgave us of, of all of our sins. He forgave us every one of our sins. Amen. So we don't have to hide. We don't have to be ashamed anymore. Why? Because guess what? We've been forgiven. You're forgiven of your sin. When we repent and say, Lord, forgive me of my sins. I confess all my faults. Amen. I, I, I'm a sinner. Save me. Amen. And so whoever, whosoever calls upon the name of Jesus shall be saved. Now somebody say, yeah, I hear a lot of people say Jesus. But listen, when you say Jesus, you're talking to the spirit. Spiritual. Amen. Spirit and spirit and truth, you got a connection with Jesus. Some people just say it just to be saying it, amen. But you have a connection because guess what? Those that love God keep his commandments. So if you, you keep his commandments, you got a connection. Hallelujah. You got resources, you got everything. Cattle on a thousand hills are yours. The earth is the Lord and the fullness thereof. There is nothing. Hallelujah. Good. Listen to this. Good G O O from you. If, hallelujah, if, if you keep his commandments and do his will. Amen. And how shall they know that you are God's disciples, that you do what? You love the brethren. Charity starts at home. Start with the church. If you can't love folks at church, at, at your church that you're attending, guess what? Your, 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 uh, your worship is in vain. Amen. It's in vain. Amen. I thank you all for your listening. It's been a very good lesson. Amen. Don't be like Zedekiah. Amen. We got to start opening our eyes and seeing what God is doing. Amen. God is working a work today. He is working. Amen. And we ask you to continue praying for everyone. Pray for the pray for the president. Pray for just everyone. Amen. Amen. Give the word tell us if your enemy thirst, give him the drink. If he hunger, give him food. Amen. That's why. That's how we heat coals upon their head. They say, "Dog, I done did him wrong and, and did this and did that to him." And they 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 giving me something to eat and they give me. See, we're not to be like the world. We're to be like Christ. Amen. And we thank God. Notice this. Jeremiah had to go through. When you tell the truth, you are gonna have to deal with some things. Amen. And no, you might have to walk a lonely road. And that, that commercial that they used to have, the Maytag repair man, how he, he was always by himself. He said, I never, he never had to repair 
on the commercial, he he never had to repair uh, um, Maytag washers or dryers because they worked so well. And so he was lonely, amen? And that's the way it, is. it would be like the Maytag repair man, amen? The loneliest job in town, amen? Where people would not really want to be around you a lot of times, amen? Because you tell the truth, amen? And because you live the truth, amen? So be a hearer and a doer of the word. On that note, be blessed.